look what I got. Welcome back for another video guys, this time on this new Apple Magic Keyboard for my new iPad Pro 2020. This thing is amazing, but before that, let's do a mini unboxing experience. I was certain from the beginning that I do not want to buy Apple's Folio keyboard to go with my iPad Pro. However, I was certain that I do need a keyboard to go with my iPad Pro for typing. So I waited for another 4 months to see if I can get a good deal on this keyboard because in my opinion with all the reviews I had seen this thing is really good but I do not want to pay 300 bucks for this kind of keyboard. So I did not spend $299 to buy this keyboard. In fact, I got a very good deal on this. I got this from a guy over Facebook Marketplace. He bought this new to gift it to his son. But due to pandemic, he never got to meet him. And his son bought the Logitech one. So after negotiating with him for a few weeks, I bought this for $200, which in my opinion is a very good deal in a world where you can easily spend $179 for folio keyboard which is way inferior in build quality and typing experience and also folio keyboard doesn't have a trackpad which is a must have feature after Apple's new iPad OS 14 update with that said let's look at some of the absolute best features of this keyboard and my first impression I'm really excited to share my first impression of this piece of art. If you ever had an iPad or if you have an iPad and if you ever wanted to type like few pages of document, you know what I'm talking about. I don't carry my 15 inch MacBook Pro everywhere with me, uh, but I do carry my iPad Pro with me everywhere. So it only makes sense that I have an option to type and make use of my ideas and put them into words. With this keyboard option, Apple has blurred the line between MacBooks and iPad Pro. Make no mistake, this keyboard is really high quality with scissor keys and perfect play in them. I had used Apple's Folio keyboard with my 12.9 inch iPad Pro previously and that thing is nowhere closer to the experience of typing that you get on this keyboard. The build quality of this keyboard is immaculate. And to my surprise, this is not thick like a tank. In my experience, this is still a very usable, good quality with appropriately thick case. This is really not much thicker than a folio keyboard case and the back cover is made of this silky material to keep your iPad in pristine condition. Bottom portion of this keyboard is really heavy. It feels like a laptopish type of heavy which is a good thing as it helps with weight balancing because this thing will not become top heavy and topple. So Apple has done a great job of keeping the weight so proportional that it won't topple on its own or with some little outside force. I think it weighs more than the iPad itself but that is necessarily not a bad thing because this provides a great typing experience and a premium feel with this outside rubberized surfaces. Okay, let's talk about this trackpad. This trackpad has made all the difference. With new iPad OS 14, this has opened a lot of new possibilities because you get this circular pointer as well. It is really precise, responsive and with this satisfying click. And I think this trackpad would be really difficult thing to replicate in other third party keyboards. This USB-C port is the best thing design-wise. You have to give it to the designers of this keyboard for innovating and coming up with this idea of putting this USB-C port here. It is not that they just wanted to give you a USB port so they, they just put it anywhere. They really thought through about this. In my opinion, there is no better place to put a USB port in a keyboard now after I have seen this. Now with it, you get two USB-C ports with your iPad Pro 
and you can use this one predominantly for charging and you can use other one for other purposes. Other thing that I want to point out is this adjustable viewing angles. Because it is so sturdy and stable, you can easily change the viewing angle based on the posture and your requirement. And because it is so stable, it is great as an on-lap keyboard as well. In other words, really lap friendly. <laughs> One last thing that I want to talk about is this crisp back lighting. There is a slight bleed to this when you are typing in dark, but overall the back lighting is really crisp on this keyboard. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and a thumbs up is really appreciated. And if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on that bell icon to get all the notification about all the new videos that I'll be posting about this magic keyboard in future with that thank you so much see you in the next one and don't forget to exercise today